It's June, and that does mean coverage heads, like it always does, every month to updates involving Hong Kong-based Cathay Pacific. But before I begin, did you know that I run a second channel with aviation analysis and rail news, DJ's Transport? Do check it out, it would definitely mean a lot to me. There's not been many carriers harder hit during the pandemic than that of Cathay Pacific, an airline that has certainly seen more low points than highs in recent years, and as they report their May 2022 figures, that only continues with a seemingly small improvement when in comparison to levels that the airline should be achieving, the difference still remains with every passing month absolutely staggeringly low. The airline did note that throughout the month of May, they carried a total of 57,982 passengers, which is for the first time an improvement. However, to carry only 57 passengers and note that it is a significant improvement does highlight how dire the situation truly is, especially when I make note that even with these numbers, they still saw a decrease of some 98% over pre-pandemic numbers taken from the month of May, three years prior in 2019. Of course, when the aviation industry and world was operating to as close as normal as we've seen. The monthly figures do represent, though, a 141.5% increase over May 2021. However, as mentioned, with it being a 98% decrease, that 141% increase, definitely while encouraging year on year, doesn't necessarily result in them being, say, out of the storm. Ronald Lam, who is the Chief Customer and Commercial Officer at Cathay Pacific, said the introduction of further adjustments to travel restrictions and quarantine requirements in Hong Kong from 1 May was a welcome development, although our business during the month remained constrained. We increased our passenger flight capacity by 78% compared with April, but we still only operated about 4% of our pre-pandemic levels. Traffic volume in terms of RPK increased 94% month on month, and this was driven primarily by long-haul flights. As a result, overall load factor reached 60.5%. The load factor being at 60% is certainly a positive sign, however it can be very quickly washed away when we move back directly to comments by Mr. Lam regarding that they only flew 4% of their pre-pandemic services, even with the resumption of some key international destinations. This is still a significant decrease, and the need for restrictions to continue to ease more rapidly is absolutely essential if the airline wishes for this figure to continue rising, and generally for all the numbers to reach higher levels. Because as we move past the halfway point of this year, while there's certainly been progress for the Hong Kong-based airline, it just isn't really enough, and each month it continues to paint a very bleak picture with only marginal improvements that seem like a lot for the airline, because it is. But if we move outside of the Cathay bubble, it highlights just how poor it really is of an improvement and how the numbers are still too low for them to roll in the profits and, I want to mention, be anywhere near the profits. Of course, I will be doing my best to continue to take a look at all the latest updates involving Cathay Pacific within the aviation industry. I think their story is not only sad, but very, very interesting to see the damages that are government can have on an airline, and that's definitely been shown throughout the pandemic. If you have any thoughts, you can let me know down in the comments. Do stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you next time.